next, it is a featherweight matchup between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Max Holloway. Well, if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something, DC, that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guys that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the names on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. So here he is, one of the best lightweights in the world, Dustin Poirier, putting that status on the line yet again here tonight. Great frame for this lightweight division. It's amazing to think he had as much success at featherweight as he did. Long arms, good footwork, nice submissions as well. This is truly a 5 tool play. Yes, he's one of the best fighters in the lightweight division, and it shows every time he steps foot in the octagon. And a victim's list, that includes Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, Max Holloway, you know when you're looking at Dustin Poirier that he is one of the best fighters in the UFC lightweight division and has the frame to compete up and he showed that before he was a featherweight. So a guy that may compete over three weight classes over his UFC career. And we remind you, when he faced Max Holloway at UFC 236 for the interim lightweight title, Holloway came in with a 13-fight winning streak that Poirier promptly ended that fateful night in Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Plus Holloway! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Dustin the Diamond Poirier! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Left hand punch with the clinch. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 
15 minutes to that end. Early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing so fast and so crisp. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice job by Dustin Fourier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line. Right punch by this young man. Oh, nice. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Holloway gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big right hand, yes. Yet again, they will clinch here. Under a minute to go. 45 seconds to go here in round one. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots get blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. How good is that right hand? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch in the clinch. Oh, nice punch there by Dustin Poole. One is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. He lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Poirier. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when is the Starts the posture. He needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So 67 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And in terms of the accuracy there, landing at a 53% clip tonight against Max Holloway. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to... His head still attached to his back. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over his first and got it. And you know he still haven't found out his over his head. Good, solid strike. 
strike on the ground. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Holloway. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job. And potentially a critical takedown here. Tags him with the left. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Holloway's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, looks like he's got a couple of hooks in here, DC, and... Well, you gotta start clearing those hooks right away, or he's gonna start to try to attack the rear choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked which is exactly what he's doing, and it looks like he has the arm under the neck. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC talked us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen. You can do this now. He is ready. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Wild swing there. Effective punch there by Holloway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Both fighters throwing heat now. His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50 position? The numbers 103 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. And landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Max Holloway. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams Oh! He was hurt. Oh! oh. Good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop on this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Justin Jordan Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.